Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Dania Kaur. I'm one of the PGY1s uh, from North Alabama Medical Center. And the case report for today is epidemoma complicating neurofibromatosis. So for, uh, here, for the case report, we have a 52-year-old man, man who presented to us with bilateral um, upper and lower extremity weakness. His uh, vitals were stable and his labs were unremarkable on presentation. And on examination, it was found that he has a uh, the, in the right upper and lower extremity, the power was 0 0.5. And in the left side, it was 3 by 5 in both upper and lower extremity. So six months prior to this presentation, he was diagnosed with uh, cervical spine tumor. And when the MRI uh, was done in our facility of the cervical spine, it showed that the tumor had uh, expanded into the thoracic, uh, thoracic spine and the medulla. So initially, he was um, started on IV dexamethasone but then neurosurgery was involved and then a combined decision was made to refer to transfer the patient to higher center for biopsy and pathological confirmation for the treatment. So the uh, main point of the case report for this patient is that he had previous history of neurofibromatosis. And uh, since ependymoma, we know that ependymoma is um, associated with neurofibromatosis. It can be associated with both uh, neurofibromatosis one and two. Uh, this patient had neurofibromatosis two. Um, and so the conclusion is that ependymoma is actually a very, has a very indolent course. Uh, this patient on presentation had some numbness and some back pain um, and uh, gradually progressive weakness. Uh, when, so the main treatment of ependymoma is uh, surgical resection. If the patient is asymptomatic, then we can, uh, you know, observe. But if the patient is having symptoms, then uh, surgical intervention is the main treatment of choice. And also because the four-year survival rate, which has been seen in the literature, is 75%. So this is the point that we want to make that uh, it should be recognized early in the stage. And because it is fully treatable and the prognosis is good, so it should be treated. Thank you. Oh,